What's up guys? We made it to Zion. As you can see, we just set up our tent and now Nick's putting on the rain fly, rain shield, whatever. But we drove, we didn't really sleep last night and we started driving at four in the morning and we just got here. Do you need help? Okay, like I was saying, we just got here. It's about noon, maybe um, 12.30. And we just set up our tent. And we're gonna go change and um, go try to hike the Narrows. When we came here two years ago, that was our favorite hike. And it's just incredible. And I'm hoping the weather will stay nice because um, if it starts raining or starts getting cloudy, it's not a safe hike to go on or safe hike to do because well, you'll see when we do it. <laughs> you'll never wait longer than 15 minutes. It takes about 40 minutes. Be careful, drink plenty of water, and remember that your safety is your responsibility. Nick, oh no. <laughs> Allie, move your bag, Allie. <laughs> Checking in. We're on the trail before the Narrows. And we're surrounded by these incredible sandstone walls, basically. When we were on the bus, we heard that the walls get this bright orange color from iron deposits, which is really interesting. This area is really incredible because water gets pushed through the sandstone and it creates these hanging gardens. And the water that comes through the sandstone is actually like thousands of years old, right? Because it takes so long for it to come through the stone. I've never heard of anything like that before, but it's so incredible and I love the colors. Oh, yeah. All stopping to get the shots. Look at the shot. So pretty. That's slimy, that one. Dude, it is it's slimy. Like, it's, like paint, it's like petting like a snake. Ooh. Now what do I do with this? Wipe it on my shirt. No, here. Here, you can wipe it on my shirt. You can wipe it on the dry part. Something's happening up here with the squirrel. Check it out. Oh, they're fighting. There's another one over there. What? Oh! Right oh, that's crazy! This is my second time, and I'm ready for anything. Okay. I'll talk to you as soon as I'm back. We're about to start the Narrows hike. It's cool because of the big walls around us. And I have a walking stick, so I'm feeling confident. Chris? I have a walking stick also, and I'm confident that I'm gonna dominate this lake thing. We never introduced Chris. This is Nick's friend, Chris. It's first grade. My friend, Chris. Yeah. Second grade. First grade. One of those. Second grade. Here you go, okay. Ellie. Let's first go, grade. guys. Ooh, oh. Okay, guys. We're in. The water right now. Right now. The color is so amazing. What are you doing? Wow. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Made in here for and loves water, so obviously it loves this spot. There's a minute. Okay guys, we just finished hiking the Narrows and it was absolutely incredible, but I wanted to share some tips in case you guys find yourself at Zion and want to do this hike too. First thing I would say is definitely bring lots of water and food or just like snacks. Um, it's really tiring to hike in water and dehydration can be a major problem, so definitely bring food and water. Um, if you're not comfortable, oh there's a bee. <laughs> Um, if you're not comfortable with your balance, there are usually a lot of hiking sticks that you can borrow, which is cool. People use them, but then they drop them um, at the beginning of the trail. You can rent water shoes from outside of the park, 
but Nick and I have never done that. We just use tennis shoes. I'm wearing chucks and I found that it was completely fine. I was really comfortable and I felt like my ankles were supported really well too. Um, so I would say bring comfortable walking shoes, make sure they're double knotted, and then bring a change of shoes if you can. So I have my sandals and so does Nick. Um, because it's about a mile walk back to the tram or the, um, what's it called? The shuttle. And then the last thing I would say is just be careful of the weather. This hike can be dangerous because of flash floods. Um, but we've hiked it twice and we haven't had any issues. So just pay attention to the weather. As they say in the shuttle too, you're responsible for your own safety. So just keep that in mind. Don't go on the hike if it looks like it's going to rain because obviously that could be very dangerous. So those are my tips. Do you have anything you want to add, yeah, Nick? If you're not comfortable with your balance but you want to bring a camera, maybe bring like a GoPro or anything in a waterproof case so if you do drop it, oh, you don't absolutely. have to worry about ruining your, your camera. I know. I was sort of nervous carrying my vlogging camera in there, but it turned out okay. I just didn't use it all the time. I just used it when I was standing still and it was fine but a GoPro is definitely a great option. So that's all I have for today's video. Oh, you have one more thing? Um, either go early in the morning when it's cooler or later on in the day when it's cooler. Totally. Because it might be a little too hot. Or maybe yeah. maybe it's and good to go in the middle of the day because no one else is going. it can get cold because um, the walls are so high. A mm -hmm. lot of times you're hiking in the shade and in the cold water. So just be prepared. That's sort of the gist of hiking in national parks in general is just be prepared and you'll be fine and you'll have fun. Take lots of pictures. So is that, do you have anything else? When you take your photos, try to frame it without other people in it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it and you want me to do more videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.